Good Wednesday morning, lads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Dan the Man Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. The Colorado Council on High School and College Relations will be here for a college fair today from 1 to 2 p.m. If you're registered for this fair, you should be getting a pass from the Counseling Center to attend this visit. We're almost through our October college visits, but we have November visits on the news today, so get ready to jot down some important dates. And remember, you do need a pass to attend these visits during advisory and lunch. Here's the lineup. Tomorrow, the reps from the University of Northern Colorado and Greeley will be here during advisory. And then on October 30th, the reps from Pikes Peak Community College have scheduled their visit with us. Seniors, listen up. If you want to save yourself some money when you apply for your favorite Colorado University or college, you will want to submit your highly qualified and completed application on October 30th. It is the inaugural Colorado Free College Application Day. Each institution will weigh fees differently. So plan ahead and read the institution-specific instructions as well as Colorado Free Application Day frequently asked questions. See Mr. Walker in the Counseling Center if you need more details. November college visits kick off on November 6th when the University of Wyoming reps will be here. Luther College will be here the next day on November 7th. On November 13th, the reps from Fort Hay State will be here followed by the reps from UCCS on November 15th. Plan to spend some time after Thanksgiving with the Adams State Grizzlies who are scheduled to visit with us on November 29th. If you miss any of these dates, check out the Counseling Center calendar or go to their website. Juniors and Seniors. The ACT test date at WHS is on Saturday, but if you did not get yourself registered for this date and you need to take this test, go to act.org for other test sites, dates, costs, and registration information. And now, we're throwing it to Kieran Doolittle at the Sports Desk for a Gladiator Sports Update. If it's October 24th, it must be hump day, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Guess who's busting their humps tomorrow morning? If you guessed our NJROTC Corps of Cadets, you're right. Our NJROTC cadets will start the first of three phases of their annual Area Manager's Inspection, or AMI, bright and early at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Captain Wenceslau is conducting these inspections tomorrow morning, so cadets will not be in classes. The first phase is personnel inspection, followed by the second phase, where cadets will receive a briefing and complete a commodity inspection. The final phase will be a pass in review Thursday evening at 6 p.m. in Bowers Gym. Everyone is welcomed and encouraged to attend the final phase. A portion of the inspection inspection grade is from the size of the pass and review ceremony crowd, so please show your support our Gladiator Corps of Cadets. In volleyball news, our Lady Glads took the home court against the Harrison Panthers last night and added another win to their season. The ladies have a few more games before their season comes to an end. Next up is a match against the Mitchell Marauders on Thursday, October 25th at Mitchell. Our cross country team is preparing for their state meet this weekend. One remarkable fact about our state qualifiers is that Miles Mena and Caitlin Anderson are both returning to state competition for their fourth consecutive years. Miles and Caitlin join an elite group of WHS runners who have achieved this feat. Way to go! Best of luck to all the state qualifiers as they run towards some strong finishes and medal placements. In football news, our Gladiators are on the road this Friday at Pueblo West for a game at 7 p.m. Come out and support your Gladiator football team and help them add another W to the books before the season ends. Our mighty Gladiator marching band will be perfecting its performance this week in preparation for state quarterfinals on November 2nd. We know our band will make us proud. In forensics news, the team is taking its talents to Pueblo West tomorrow afternoon for the Halloween Congress meet. Best of luck to them. We should have scores for you on Friday morning. Glads, if you want to hear some fantastic music, the choir is holding a concert tomorrow night at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Check it out. It should be very cool. And finally, stay tuned on Friday when Damon's Daily Dose will talk about stress and how to handle it. That's it for your Wednesday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Kieran Doolittle. Go out and support your Gladiator teams this week and weekend. Now, back to Moose and Dan for more news. Thanks, Kieran. That's some great information. Students, if you'd like to join Miss Melton in June of 2020 on the trip she's hosting to England, Ireland, and Scotland, check in with her in room 103 for details and deadline information. Hey, Glads, remember those pink federal aid forms that were due on October 11th? If you haven't turned them in, what are you waiting for? Mrs. Kawakami and Mrs. Malone are waiting for you to return your signed copies. You can give them to your first hour teacher or bring them directly to the attendance office. And now, here's our lunch crew with the lunch menu today. Uh-oh. Guess what day it is? 
Guess what day it is. Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is. Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo -hoo! Top of the morning, it's Wednesday, for those of you that don't rule my camels. Anyway, today we're going to have beef shepherd's pie. I know you like it, mashed potatoes, gravy, you know, all the good stuff. Come on down and see us. And then on Thursday, we're having grilled cheese and fries. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Please pay your lunch charges in person and go online to add money to your account. Students. As the second quarter gets started, do you find yourself struggling with the class? Or maybe you need help writing better papers? Or maybe, just maybe, you need to brush up your study skills for tests? If this sounds like you, then you should make an appointment with the NHS students who are offering tutoring sessions every Thursday in the library. Stop by the library to sign up for a time and pick up a pad. Finish the semester stronger than you started. See you then. Speaking of NHS, senior NHS members, you will have a meeting this Friday in the library at lunch. Please see Mrs. HK if you are unable to attend. Glad you still have time to order your yearbook before the prices go up in November. You can order your yearbook in the business office or go to yearbookforever.com and order online. The cost is $50. $5. Glads. If you need a sweet and scary snack today to top off your advisory time, stop by the lower commons where the senior council will be holding a bake sale. Most items are Halloween themed, so check them out and buy some treats. I know where I'll be tomorrow during advisory. Students, are you the king or queen of useless information? On Halloween, your skill set might win you a prize. Join the freshman council on Halloween in the small gym to kick off your Halloween fun on Wednesday, October 31st. It's only $1 to enter your three-person team, and prizes will be awarded to the top three teams. And last but not least, the news you have all been waiting for. Our admin team has approved the wearing of costumes our Halloween. Cha-ching. But listen up. Before you show up in that skimpy nurse's outfit or scary Chucky mask, there are a few rules we have to follow. First, we cannot wear masks on our beautiful faces. Second, costumes must be dress code appropriate, so leave the skimpy outfit at home. And lastly, you must be able to participate in class activities like PE, shop classes, ROTC, and labs. You cannot use your costume as an excuse not to participate. That's it for our Wednesday edition, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. Best of luck to our core of cadets on their AMI tomorrow. And I'm Dan the Man Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. Remember to come check out the pass and review tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Hours. Have a great rest of your week.